Dan, it was a direct hit. <laughs> That's it what they was. wanted. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It was very, very, very exciting. I mean, we don't know yet if it worked. The, the, you know, that's going to be in the coming days where they look at the the orbit of this small uh, asteroid going around a larger asteroid. The, the goal of this was to change its orbit, to change its orbital dynamics, to show that you could impart momentum onto a planetary object mm -hmm. and change the direction it's heading. And, and the hope is that someday this could protect humanity. But we have to look now to see whether the orbit has changed because they've had the hit and now we just have to see if it worked. Yeah, and that's going to take a few weeks before they can actually see whether or not, you know, the, the point of this, whether they were able to reach that goal. Um, if they didn't, then what? Well, there's a whole bunch here. I mean, there is the let's protect humanity piece of it. That's important. But there's also, look at that asteroid, right? That is the first time anyone's ever seen that asteroid. It was just in the last, you know, couple of seconds as this thing approached the surface. So people are going to be pouring over those images, looking at how this asteroid is built. We don't know what most asteroids are like to touch. And so we don't know if this thing hit something very hard or if it went into a big pile of dust and uh, there was there's a huge plume afterwards. Um, telescopes on Earth have been reporting seeing changes in brightness, which suggests a whole bunch of material was kicked up. But they're going to send another spacecraft up there in the future to have a close look to see how big the crater is and what kind of debris field was left, because this will teach us a lot about how asteroids are built, because the only ones we ever get to look at are the ones that make it all the way down to Earth. And by right. then, they've already come through the atmosphere and been cooked, so they're totally different. Yeah, and of course, I guess the question will be, well, why not just, you know, try and blow it up, make it smaller into a number of pieces, which, you know, after our conversations, I'm like, that wouldn't be a good idea, but explain <laughs> explain why. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, the basic idea is that if you've got a great big thing and you try to blow it up, hopefully it just turns into dust, but yeah. maybe it turns into two big things, and that'd be, you know, maybe perhaps even just as bad as the original. So uh, this is a different way of dealing with things that are coming at us, and it just gives us a tool that we might be able to use if something shows up on our radar. And a lot of people have been saying for a long time that this is, this is long overdue, that this is a technology. We, we know about asteroids. We've always known about asteroids. Yeah. We've got to protect ourselves. This is what space should be doing. Uh, and so uh, space exploration has taken a giant leap forward with one giant smash into an asteroid at 22,000 kilometers an hour. Indeed. From Hollywood to reality, Dan. All right. CTV's science and technology expert, Dan Riskin, thanks a lot for this. Thank you. You're welcome.